Good morning, Metaverse. I'm Thor with the OCG and Mafia Guild, and today we're going to go over a subject matter that was brought up by Shackle, um, a member of the Mafia Esports organization, and I just got him interested in Star Atlas, and we were talking about ships and everything else that I know about Star Atlas, and I started talking about collectibles and he had no idea what I was talking about and I realized there's a lot of people that are going to be getting into Star Atlas and the obvious thing is the ships because you know that's what's uh, up front and what's being talked about and can earn returns but there's a whole other section of Star Atlas that is available on the marketplace called collectibles and so we're going to go over those the some of the characters the gear uh, some of the wearables and posters that have the potential to, to actually have in-game benefit. Um, some of them are just collectibles, but um, it's something that I, I think people should know about, and it may take people a little bit longer that are just getting into it to find this and understand uh, the benefits that it can have for you. So let's dive into collectibles and get this party started. All right, so the first category I'm gonna go over are characters. And there are two characters right now. There's uh, Sammy Banks and Anna Tolley, little homage to the founders of Solana and FTX. And so these characters uh, won't be playable in the original or the first version of Scream, but as Scream is developed and we go into the Unreal Engine 5 version, characters and character traits, uh, character development, those are all gonna be very important. So let's take a look at at Sammy Banks first. Sammy Banks uh, has a backstory and feel free to read through it. It gives a little bit more depth to those characters. But the important thing for what I'm talking about is this is an exclusive crew member that you can assign to the pilot role of one of your ships. So I imagine it would give a bonus to whatever fleet he is piloting or ship Sammy is piloting. And so that's uh, kind of cool once character traits and progression is added into the game. Right now it's trading for 184 and so uh, you were actually able to get Sammy Banks if you were part of the Rebirth Genesis of the Metaverse, which was the poster sale, their initial poster sale for uh, Star Atlas, which was uh, back last year. And so uh, that's Sammy and then you got that probably uh, poster three, I think, uh, Sammy was, was let out and there are, let's see, 3,000 of those available. Uh, or are out there. Now, Anatoly was one of the uh, more uh, uh, expensive posters, and there's only 72 of Anna. Now, Anna is an exclusive crew member that you can assign to the captain role of your ship containing three or more crew slot stations. And so having Anatoly as one of your captains, uh, I'm sure that's going to give a big bonus to your fleet as a whole. Um, and most space games, when you have uh, a NPC captain or admiral or, or pilot in, involved in your, your fleet, there's usually some, some uh, big bonuses to that. So I imagine that would be coming up. Trading right now, Anna is at $12,000. So pretty expensive NFT. I have no idea what the benefit uh, trade-off is going to be for having that crew slot, but um, you know that's something to, to take a look at, see what the market decides once those uh, characters are actually playable in the game. Um, but that's an important one to take a look at and wanted you to know about. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is actually the clothing and the uh, the jacket and patches. Cool, so uh, we see the Primordial Glow, there's the Noble Signer, Noble Cloak, um, a couple other of these outfits, uh, Cosmic Origin 92. Um, these are wearables, things that you can put on your characters and some of them have added benefits. So let's take a look at that. Primordial Glow, right now it's trading for 179. And what this does is it, the bomber jacket, it was made by Galactic Love Outfitters, okay? And it has straps included, but the tags are not included. So we can see the straps going around the shoulders of this jacket, that's included, but these tags, these glowing tags, they're not included. Well, why is that a big deal? Well, first of all, the tags are uh, further down here in the marketplace. And there's a handful of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine or ten. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm counting that right. But um, take a look at these tags. 
and tribal transcendence, transcendence tag slightly increases crew loyalty. So you're getting a crew loyalty bonus for each of these tags and it can stack. So you can put multiple tags uh, on an outfit that has straps. And so for the Cosmic Origin, this has straps. Um, however, uh, take a look at that because um, this one, for example, the uh, Photonics, it is a um, neckwear, so it's just this scarf, I believe, that's going down. The straps and tags are not included. So this is just a wearable. It doesn't have the ability to stack those, those patches. Uh, and then the Noble Cloak and Signer that I mentioned before, they have a bonus and this one provides a health boost to the wearer. So when character play is uh, part of the game, that health bonus uh, may be uh, of, of big importance. Now, I do want to bring up this specifically. Um, there was a character trait for the Primordial Glow originally when it was launched that had a slight increase in fortune in the game. And so I don't see that on it now. Uh, so Star Atlas, I am watching this. Don't be taking the fortune away from my Primordial Glow. Um, I'll bring up another piece of gear that does have that character trait on it. Um, that was the same for this, so I, I'm, I'm watching, okay? But uh, for right now, that's what you're kind of looking at this for. Crew loyalty, and be able to stack that bonus, and then a uh, slight uh, health boost to your characters that as the character becomes more uh, involved in the game, we might see some more characters popping up here. So definitely look out for that. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is actually another character or we'll call it a pet. And so this one is Taigu. No, I did not sneeze. That is the name of the space cat. So this is an indigenous space cat. And you see the gold skin that's up above. This uh, cat is made of gas. Kind of cool. The crew this Taigu on your ship to boost your repair rate when the ship is in a jam. Awesome. So repair bonus to the ship that this uh, Taigu is a crew member of. Remember, the all of these are NFTs. And so if you have characters, if you have Taigu, if you've got a character with a jacket on your ship and you take it to high risk zone, all those NFTs are at risk. All right. So just be forewarned, um, these are all NFTs and at risk in the high risk zone. But to have a repair boost and you're going out to you know dangerous waters might really be a huge benefit for you. Um, if it's going to be a long battles or, or uh, whatnot. So Taigu could be a very beneficial addition to your gameplay. Next thing I'm going to talk about is actually the skins. So we do have skins. And for example, the Black Sun skin for the Calico Hero. Um, really cool looking. Um, you also have one for the Calico Guardian, the black and red, um, the Black Sun um, Calico Guardian skin is is just really sexy looking. Um, and you have uh, several others uh, as you go through the collectibles. Uh, there's some for the X4, um, Nanobite. Uh, this, I've got this one. Uh, that's a pretty cool look for it uh, to, to shake things up. There's a couple for down here for the uh, X5 um, and the opal jet opal jet and opal jet jet uh, so there's a couple different skins out here uh, that you can take a look at the agrica um, this is pretty cool that that looks kind of like a sunburst to me um, and that ship but just by itself is beautiful so take a look at the skins those are just collectibles no addition no additional benefits to the ships as far as i, I i've seen so far um, but as far as uh, unique looks uh, definitely something to check out Next, we got these uh, these emotes. This also came with the poster sales. Some of these uh, exclusive to, um, you know, different different class ships and that type of thing. They don't have details on this one, so this is kind of just a collectibles type thing. If you're if you're into that, um, there's uh, I think five of those that you can take a look. Um, uh, no bonuses to the actual gameplay, but as far as collectibles. Um, they are available and you know they're uh, they're on the market for various prices based off of uh, essentially the um, posters that they were sold with so uh, some are a thousand and some other ones uh, this one 
yeah, it's five dollars. Uh, so there's different rarities that have to do with with those guys. The next thing that we'll talk about is gear. Now this necklace that we see up top that was exclusively able to be purchased from the FTX uh, website um, exchange site, and so I ended up picking up one of those. And then there's also this cosmic sound. Okay, the cosmic sound was um, another one that was uh, released with uh, an event uh, that the Star Atlas had had hosted. Um, increases crew morale, social cohesion, and also increases overall good fortune to uh, in the metaverse. So that good fortune that used to be on that primordial glow jacket. I'm watching, uh, and uh, but there's a couple other things that that have that uh, included. So this cosmic sound is actually on the market right now for 4,896 Atlas. Okay, so that's being sold by for Atlas, whereas a lot of those other ones are sold in USDC. Uh, but increased crew morale uh, for longer journeys, uh, social cohesion, uh, how the characters inter interact with each other and then increasing that overall good fortune. So good fortune like getting rarer materials uh, when you're mining or um, rare dropped uh, items and materials when you've uh, battled a ship and, and destroyed a ship, some more rare uh, items that you can get out of that. I think that would be a really cool um, addition to the game and something to really take a look at these guys. And then also the Soundscape by Blondish. Um, and so I know uh, with the actual uh, NFT, you can open this up and you get some music along with that, kind of like the posters, which we'll go into in, in a second. Um, but just so you're um, aware or or have the information, the uh, that necklace uh, up top that also has the increased overall good fortune in the metaverse. So that's pretty cool. So the last thing I'm going to talk about are the posters. Now the posters were part of the rebirth. Genesis of a Metaverse event. That was how everything started. That was initial funding for Star Atlas Project. Uh, you buy those posters and there were uh, game pieces that you would get as as a result. Uh, sh you were promised ships even before the ships were out on uh, the market. You have uh, some of the characters were released with those um, and, and some of the other uh, collectibles and wearables. And so the posters now, what's the benefit of buying them on the secondary market after those rewards have already been issued to the original poster owners? Well, the development team has mentioned multiple times that they will probably be additional airdrops and uh, event access for poster holders. Um, I think it might have been the cosmic sound was actually dropped to poster holders, if, if I remember that correctly. Um, and so there's uh, potential for additional drops down in the future. No guarantees, but that's something to, to keep in mind. And so picking up some of these posters, I know there's there's several that are in a very reasonable price range, uh, like $32 for this NFT. Of, of discovery which is poster one um, you have going up all the way uh, you know there's there's another one this one is uh, kind of cool but a little bit above my price range personally um, this is uh, the R visits Earth for seven thousand five hundred dollars and so that was on one of the uh, rarer posters poster eight and uh, so that one was pretty cool the NFT where the Fatoli uh, alien made out of light visits earth and with the experience you can click on the experience and get an AR look at the picture um, through your phone you download the the barcode and you can have the AR three-dimensional it moves as you're moving the your phone picture um, and then it has the soundtracks there's different soundtracks for the the different posters blondish uh, bass jackers were on in there so some some really good music uh, in addition. And so those are the posters. So, uh, you know, my opinion, uh, not financial advice, but my, my opinion, some of these posters are worth uh, picking up and holding on to so you can be involved in some of those uh, those drops. Now, things like uh, the Armstrong Forever, that was a cool one that I picked up. Um, this one was commemorating the, the Armstrong um, uh, plant landing on the moon and then it was also tied with the launch of the Armstrong satellite uh, that was 
kind of a, a, a neat uh, real life history uh, space exploration of our time. So that was that was neat. And as a result, there's uh, some cool gear and such that was released. So there's this satellite. So just a sort of miscellaneous uh, collectibles, exclusive charm made available to the metaverse and honors the, the legends of Star Atlas. OK, so this satellite, I think they had uh, talked about you might be able to actually send that out in orbit around a planet that you you have a uh, claim stated on or a space station. Um, we'll see if, uh, how that goes. And then there's this vintage astronaut suit. This one actually has specific benefits. This suit protects the wearer from harmful cosmic radiation in EVA while also providing a modest health boost. So again, a health boost and the ability to go um, out and in, into outer space on the outside of your ship. That that could be pretty cool. So those are, are just some of the posters uh, and some of the reasons that you, you might want to uh, pick one up and, and hold one. Um, also to keep in mind, uh, this is for a different day, uh, different time, different day, is the structures. Um, these are not out on the market yet, but they will be upcoming. So keep your eye out on structures. That's essentially land sale type things, uh, claim stakes, space stations, power plants, and mining drills. Uh, so when that comes out, when you get more information, I'll go over that one as well. Hopefully this was helpful and don't worry about liking, subscribing, screw the algorithm. I really don't care. I want to find people that want to play Star Atlas, that want to be in engaged and involved in this metaverse. So uh, there will be links in the description below for Star Atlas or if you want to join the, the Mafia Esports organization, that's a real active group that I'm in uh, in order to play the games. Uh, again, uh, check out the links below. And, you know, if you can do that, then today was a good day. Good morning, Metaphor.